Hello everyone. I'm going to show you a really fun activity to do at home with your preschooler. Let's go. So in the wake of the coronavirus, I know that children have probably been hearing a lot of wash your hands, wash your hands, but why should we wash our hands? Let's find out. Before you begin, you'll need to grab a few items. You'll need a paper plate, a cup of water, black pepper, that will serve as your germs, and soap. Before you begin the activity, have a discussion with your child. I have some questions you may want to ask them. Maybe ask them, do you know what germs are? How do you get rid of germs? How do germs impact our lives? Have your child help you pour the water onto the plate. It's important that you both work on this together. Next, take the pepper and have your child gingerly spread it onto the plate. Talk about what's happening. Notice how the pepper flakes are floating on the water. Next, have your child place their finger into the plate. Talk about what's happening. Talk about what's not happening. Next, have your child place their finger in the soap. Again, have a discussion about what they think will happen. Make predictions, hypothesize. Have your child place their finger back in the plate. At the edge. Magic. This is a great conversation starter. So your child may notice that when you shake the pepper flakes on the water, it floats. This is a great opportunity to talk about buoyancy and sink or float. So let's talk about why the pepper spreads when you have soap on your finger and you put it in the water. This is due to surface tension. The pepper no longer floats on top. The water molecules want to keep the surface tension intact, so they pull away from the soap, carrying the pepper flakes with them. A simpler explanation for younger children uh, could be cause and effect. Thanks to Ms. Lorenzo, who recently went viral after sharing this lesson and activity with her students. Another really fun activity is teaching children how easily germs can spread. Let's go. For this activity, you're going to need glue, black pepper, and the book, Germs Are Not For Sharing. If you don't happen to have glue or black pepper, you can use glitter or paint. And if you don't happen to have the book, Germs Are Not For Sharing, I'm going to put a link in the description box so that you can access the online video of the read aloud. You first want to begin the activity by either pulling up the video of Germs Are Not For Sharing or if you have the book, reading the book to your child. When you're doing a read aloud, here are some helpful tips. Be creative with your voice. If different characters are speaking in the book, try doing a high voice for one and a low voice for another. To keep a child engaged, add sound effects. A loud boom! or, oh no, will really excite children. Vary your tone. So if you're, reading book, if you're reading parts of a book where there are sad parts, you may wanna lower your voice. And when you're reading happy parts, you may wanna make your voice exciting. Parents and caretakers, be prepared to read the book again. It's okay to read a book over and over to a child. Repetition is a great way to build vocabulary. It also presents an opportunity for children to retell the story to you. They can learn about the beginning, middle, and end. Also, they can develop an understanding about characters and the setting. The first thing you're going to want to do is help your child spread glue on their hand. We're gonna get a little messy here. 
but we're going to clean up after, promise. So spread the glue all over your hand, both hands. And then you're going to want to take the pepper and spread it on your hand. It'll stick because of the glue. Get it on both hands. Now you're going to show your child how easily germs spread by shaking their hand. You may have to smear it just a little bit to get the pepper flakes on there. Now there's germs on your hands. What do we do next? Next, this is a perfect opportunity to teach your child how to wash their hands. Sing the happy birthday song twice to make sure that you do a really, really good job of getting all those germs off. I hope you enjoyed both of these activities. Like and subscribe. Thanks.